and be ready to win the next uh, six points. I hope, I hope uh, uh, congratulations to Nigeria and I hope to meet them in the final again. That's my expectation. So our chances it is to keep going, strong together, working, focused in our responsibilities and win the next game, win the next game until we be able, inshallah for them also, to meet them in the final. Not only Akram, uh, was Akram, it was Fatouf. Uh, to lose uh, in one important game like these two players in our defensive line is something difficult to solve. It is difficult. But I think uh, both, both players uh, that come inside, they did a good job. They make a, make a good effort. But unfortunately for Egypt, to lose two injury players in the first half in the defensive line, it is, it is really bad. My, my opinion is simple. Uh, we, we have a very bad start in the first half. Uh, I can say that we're just not there on the pitch in the first half. Uh, we try to surprise uh, the, the Nigerian team with a different approach at the beginning. Uh, not to give Salah to the marking position in the left side. We start uh, well, but suddenly we start to lose the control of the game. And the first half of Nigeria was really good. They played better than us. And they, they deserved to score the, the first half. Second half was a different story. We wake up, we start to play. 67% of ball possession, which is our football. We keep the ball. We create a couple of chances. And special, uh, I will not say that was fair. Probably not fair. Uh, Nigerians uh, probably don't think like that. But the fact it is, for me, it is in impossible. It is not possible to believe that the referees and the VAR, they did not see the penalty against Jesus. It's, it is absolutely impossible. I'm not saying that, uh, to be clear, that that situation explain or excuse our first half. No, but football is football. Football is 90 minutes. First half with be bad. Uh, second half we play better, we create a couple of opportunities and it is scandalous, it is scandalous for one referee, in special the VAR, close the eyes to the penalty against his own. it is scandalous. I, and I cannot say nothing more because I know from my experience if I say something more I know that I'm going to be punished. So I hope that you guys in the press you have a, a clear picture of that uh, incident and uh, try to understand how it is possible to be in one room with, uh, uh, I don't know, many cameras, three or four or five people, and they don't see one penalty like that. It's very simple. I just, said, uh, I just said to the players, guys, uh, first half is gone, let's enjoy now playing football. And they start to enjoy to play football. Okay. And they change completely. This is African Cup of Nations. This is uh, January. And uh, we need to manage to, to move forward with no, uh, no excuses, no explanations. Because, uh, of course, the eating environment uh, damages more some players than others. The ones that are uh, more used to play in these environments, it's more easy for them. That is one thing that uh, we learn since we start to play. Uh, the, the ball doesn't sweat. Uh, so let's make the ball run more and move more quick.